Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful uh, bird scene that I took from the zoo. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Just fix this. Sorry. Today I'd like to share Jeremiah 15 verse 16. It says, When I discovered your words, I devoured them. They are my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, O Lord of God, heaven's armies. Here's my poem. Devour God's word. Devour God's word. When you become a believer, you begin to crave for the Lord. You will only know him deeper if, if you are devouring his word. It is a food for the spirit that keeps us spiritually healthy. It brings all lies into the light and gives us the victory. When we eat the food for our spirits, we become wise. It clears our minds and hearts and exposes ill advice. Consume the word so you can experience a life of peace. It brings us comfort, corrects, convicts, and makes us see. Here's my essay. I don't know of anyone who does not like eating. In fact, one of the hardest to control in our senses is the taste. With the explosion of the culinary arts in the last decades, it has become harder to control ourselves from craving food. How we consume food and how the food industry has brainwashed us to think that we are being fed good food when we are actually slowly poisoned. We can look at how the enemy also poisons our spirit with all kinds of lies and tricks. The Word of God is our weapon and shield. It can deliver us from bondage to sin and addictions. Prayer. Lord, thank you for your Word that gives us life. Reflection. How often must a believer consume the Word of God? Well, if we consume food three to six times a day, some cultures consume, like I used to come from the Philippines, we consume about, uh, we eat about six times a day or sometimes more. So, how come we do not consume spiritual food in our life that much? No wonder we are always having problems um, with, with ourselves, with our relationships, with, with um, having victory over things that we, we want to, um, to, that we aim to, to get or we aim to, to um, happen in our life. So for us to be able to uh, become spiritually mature, we need to consume the Word of God daily if not once a day, at least three or four more times a day. In Joshua 1 verse 8, it says, um, meditate on my words day and night. Meaning, m meditate means to memorize the word of God and to, to, um, to bury it deep in our hearts so that when we need it, it will just come out because that's how we remember, that's how we lock it in our heart, and that's when we need it, it will be given to us by the Spirit of God. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Devour God's Word and don't ever miss taking it, or you will be um, attacked by the enemy and you will not have victory with, with your walk as a Christian. Thanks for watching.